hail, you lose. <sighs> hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Cornell's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, not just the Mio. Now get daddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? I guess they're close right now. I feel Andrea. Let me handle this. My weak will. You wait then why would I do I'm not really Who's sure. Like You're a man of many. the two of you step right up now then what manner of massage do you desire say what is this your first time in our establishment mm -hmm. we are a hand massage parlor an excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. it is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension <laughs> And what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Uh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage park, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services, then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... Hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me. Oh. The strong, firm hands of a fighter. Yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, 
Which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back. And wait. Cloud? <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well-to-do patrons. First, the hand cream. A generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Let's start with the tips. That's it. Relax, I'm all here to help. Oh, did that hurt? No. <laughs> Then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation and get that blood flowing. <laughs> no, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? Cry of pleasure. Is this how you like it? How about this? Or maybe this? <laughs> if that was to your liking, do come again. Right. How was it? Huh? You okay? Yeah. You're acting weird, Cloud. I am? Really weird. Hmm. Think you'll make a habit of it? I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. Sure you're okay? Yeah. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. <laughs> and why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm? Okay. Really? But you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? It's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? Hmm. <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gil. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight club? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes. For the person who got you in. So. What do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along.
What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence, but don't get too cocky. What's this? Team? Yes, the two of us are... I need to get into that audition. All right. Team it is. Head to the waiting area down are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus. Like you should. Hey! Lovebirds! Over here! In the city that never sleeps! In the paradise of the battery is in! It's not your turn yet. Your names will be announced over the speaker. Just wait until then. Oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch. You know? I hope you guys, I don't want to... Cloud and Aaron, please make your... They're in way too deep to back out now. You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. For our next match, we welcome two fighters, a young couple no less. Talking about a bad day? And this is their first tournament, the bad first date, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! Take the lead. Here goes. down go to what's wrong the rules don't make sense yeah true but maybe it'll be better in the next match nah wouldn't bet on it better to expect the worst Your match will begin shortly. 
Please make your way to the gate. That's what they call the ready to rock. Just remember, try not to die. For the second match in our spectacular semifinal, fresh from their first date with death, I present the lucky couple. We're like unlucky for the rest of us. Give it up once again for Cloud and Erin. For common criminals, the worst of the worst. Ladies and gentlemen, check your pockets because they may have already robbed you blind. The most contemptible son of bitches is not a Walmart. That's benefits. Don't overdo it. I'll take care of them. I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. <laughs> so have half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall for grace. Maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. Well. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Cloud and Aerith. The final match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. Man, you... It's the final... I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, up... Someone looks 
Taking this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. You bet it all on a toss. Sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course. Even if they are both the same. <laughs> Later. And now. I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. And what? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute. His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madam M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People are placing hefty bets. Much heftier than you can possible. Imagine. Corneo's... Meaning what? You faced... Hey, that wasn't... The... Don't you think I... You greedy ba... Uh... <sighs> But that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this, and the crowd will make... So this is the last... <laughs> I sure hope so. Watching you guys fight, ready to kick ass? It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys, show them what you got.
Go for it now. Talk about persistent! We'll drown in air and give it to the house of pressure! Bring it. Let's do this. Wow, the story is going to be a fix. Don't overdo it. Will you be able to put that apartment lid on the next step back? Cut! Oh, Here he comes! One more shot! We're dying to the cooking up this time! Get the number of 
There you are. So, Madam M, I was also big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty spread. Huh? You want to take me up on my offer now? You're here. Just one thing. I'm told you did a wonderful job helping. It's like they say. Good things come to the... I'm gonna put Aerith in the most gorgeous. All right. Now that that's out of it, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. All right, then. Let's get started. In the meantime, let me see. Let me think. <laughs> you look like you haven't experienced the best of what this... Not interested. <laughs> Then maybe you can show the town what you have to offer instead. Which is to say, why don't you try putting those finely honed mercenary skills of yours to good use here in Walmart? I have a few little requests that you might be able to help out with. <laughs> I gave that hand extra special treatment. Now get out there and show me what you can do with it. <laughs> and that's enough of that. Eric, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But well, ouch. Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eye. looking for work in Wall Market. Maybe you can help us sort this out. Some criminals have stolen a shipment of donations bound for the Leaf House. The fiends! The culprit is none other than the notorious Angel of the Slums. People worship her in some kind of bokeh, but there's no denying she's the one that done did it. I mean, look at this calling card. The Garden Angle 3? Well, they must have meant to write Guardian Angel. Oh, come on, Garden Angle! Listen to me. I guarantee this is not the work of the Angel. I saw it with my own eyes. Three shady-looking types wandering around, scouting their mark, I bet. Well, if you're so sure, then bring them here. Prove to me this wasn't the work of your beloved Guardian Angel. You heard the man, Merc. I've got to find those thieves to clear the Angel's name, and I need your help to do it. She would never, ever do anything to harm the less fortunate. Find the three I saw and bring them here to me. They ran off toward the old expressway on the other side of Evergreen Park. Strikes again, suckers! <laughs> and all it took was one fake car. Do we? 
Honestly, think that the beloved angel of the slums could be any of these three idiots, do you? Nah, I recognize the mask. These guys are just small-time crooks who've been pestering folks around here for a minute. Should have listened to you earlier. Sorry about this. Well, you should be sorry. I'll consider us square. Once you've taught these boys a lesson. Damn. All right, get moving. Hey, watch it. Not so rough. Lummox? Yeah, you lummox, you lump nuts. So what about the donations? Do you need help taking them to the leaf house? Kind of you to offer, but I can manage on my own. I know these streets like the back of my hand. Better even. It's the angel of the slums. She took the tongue stuff. He's gonna be pissed. Well, I'll be seeing you. Thanks to you, we can put this mess behind us. I'm grateful. The guardian angel of the slums. Radiant defender of the downtrodden? Huh. Wonder if I'm an accomplice. Jules, 
if you've got some. <laughs> Look at him. Now, what do you say, Cloud? If you want to go. So. Ha! Annoying. All right. We'll settle this now. Let's all see what you. No got. way! I'm letting you win. Enough of that. Should probably get back to Madame Mims. Champ, got word from Madame M. She said you had time to kill before Aerith's ready for the big event. So, uh, what do you say to taking on a little extra work while you're waiting around? We've got a hell of a lot of fans clamoring to see their favorite champ go another round or ten. And something tells me they're not gonna rest until they see you kick ass again. Now get on down to the Coliseum ASAP. Thanks to you. Now get out there and give him a show. This challenger wanted another bite of the champ. One of Sam's favorite machines of mayhem, Cuddy. He's been sharpening his blades and dreaming of payback. Can our champ come out on top again? Fighters, begin! No holding back. Break yourself now. That's it. Buzz off. Cloud wins! 
Buddy's quest for sweet revenge has ended in bitter defeat. Very nicely done. <laughs> Here's your cut. You earned it. Wait, you're here? What about Aerith? My people are working on her hair right now. I thought I'd take the opportunity to drop by and watch her match. <laughs> I have to admit, I never get tired of seeing Sam's precious toys take a beating. <sighs> All right. I can tell by your hands you've come a long way. You're the hands of a fighter who has found new purpose. A woman? Or two? I wonder. Just doing what I've always done. <laughs> anyway, Aerith should be finishing up soon. I'll go on ahead to check on her. Whenever you're ready, come back to the parlor. Take a deep breath. I heard corn. I... Well, I do. I'll come too. Hey, Cloud, bro. I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just want to say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said. The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Bing, bing, whoosh, whoosh. You know, I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. So, bro, do you have any advice for a smart, stand-up guy like myself? No. Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but... Yes, sir! Got a letter of a... Hmm? Yeah, it's who? Well, either way, I wasn't asking... Hmm? Wouldn't try it if I... If you even think... And that's someone, or it could wind up... Get in. You're in the Don's... Anyway, you got... If you're sure you... But... If I were... Move it! Move it! Come on! 
that's really... Yeah. Corneo's got certain tastes. This dress is so gaudy and impossible to move in. Uh, uh, yeah. Cloud? Uh, uh, excuse me. Huh. Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than you thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition. No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? The honey, you said you didn't. It'll be fun. What? It's pretty rare for. Trust me. Uh. Come on. Wait. No can do. So, here's Madam M set on. So I say we march right up to him, and explain the situation. So, are you a top sider? Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honey Bee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you... What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors. I've dreamt of this moment. The honeybee is... And here's the man of the hour. Chosen by Andrea himself. Our honored guest. Oh dear, do we have the wrong person? You are, Andre. This is your first time, right? Why would I... Andrea thought it over here. Hey, hold on. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm in love. Yes. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! Without shame, to 